Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to add a mixed number and a fraction. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, one third is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator, three, nice. In this example, we need to add four and one third plus one half. The key to solve this problem is to remember that a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction, that's it. So first, we're going to rewrite the mixed number four and one third as the sum of a whole number, four in this case, and a proper fraction, one third, one third. Over here, we just rewrote the mixed number four and one third as the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Now we put the plus sign and then we have one half. Once again, we put four, four plus, and next we need to add these two fractions with unlike denominators. And there are several ways to add fractions with unlike denominators. However, I love to use the cross multiplication method or the butterfly method. In this method, we'll start by multiplying the denominators. Help me please, three times two, give us six. And then we are going to cross multiply. On this side, we have one times two. One times two is two. Then comes the plus sign. On the other side, we have three times one. And that gives us three, that is correct. Next, four plus, four plus, four plus, 2 plus 3 give us 5, and then the denominator stays the same. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Wait a second, that is the definition of a mixed number, yep, a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So we can rewrite this expression as a mixed number, and what is a mixed number? It's 4, 4, and 5 sixths. That's it, here we have the final answer, 4 and 5 sixths. However, we can also rewrite this mixed number as an improper fraction. Do you remember how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction? First, we multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add this result to the numerator. Here we go. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 gives us 29. Once again, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 gives us 29. And now the denominator stays the same. Six, come over here. The answer is 29 sixths. So here we have the answer as a mixed number and here as an improper fraction. Also, don't forget that an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 29 sixths is an improper fraction given that the numerator 29 is greater than the denominator six. Let's continue with another example. In the last example, we need to find the sum of one and three fourths and two thirds. First, we'll write the mixed number one and three fourths as the sum of a whole number, one in this case, and a proper fraction, three fourths. Now we put the plus sign and the fraction two thirds, two thirds, one plus, one plus, and next we need to add these two fractions with unlike denominators. Once again, we're going to use the butterfly method. In this method, we we'll start by multiplying the denominators, and four times three give us 12. Then we're going to cross multiply. On this side, we have three times three, and that gives us nine. Now we put the plus sign. On the other side, we have four times two, and that gives us eight, eight. One plus, one plus, and then nine plus eight gives us 17, that is correct. Finally, the denominator stays the same. 12, come over here. Once again, we put one plus, hold on. 17 twelfths is an improper fraction because the numerator 17 is greater than the denominator 12. And since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. So we're going to say this fraction as a division. Pay attention to the following question. How many times does 12 go into 17? How many times does 12 go into 17? Well, 12 goes into 17 one time. Then we multiply. 1 times 12 is 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. Once again, 1 times 12, 12. To get 17, we need to add 5. And then the denominator stays the same. 12 come over here. And here we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry. First, we're going to add the whole numbers. 
1 plus 1 give us 2 and then we add the fractions however we only have one fraction over here and that fraction is 5 twelfths 5 twelfths the answer is 2 and 5 twelfths however we can also convert this mixed number to an improper fraction do you remember the steps? first we multiply the denominator by the whole number and then we add this result to the numerator here we go 12 times 2 is 24 plus 5 give us 29 once again 12 times 2 is 24 plus 5 give us 29 then we keep the denominator the same 12 12 that is correct so now we have the final answer as a mixed number and as an improper fraction that's all for today if you want to learn more about mixed numbers or fractions check out that playlist over there you have another video have a good one and see you next lesson bye